turn this camera around. We will have lecture. I'm trying to set this up so it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if that switch box works. I know Rob used to have to go and switch it up with something over there. <laughs> Rios is watching. Hey, let's freaking go. <laughs> de nada, de nada. <laughs> Three people would be watching me. <laughs> and I was in the middle of transferring files, this one, whatever. <laughs> While we wait, I will entertain you. What shall we talk about? Today is Flag Day. See my hat? Kind of cool. It says USA. It has like a flag. Pretty tight, huh? June 14th is Flag Day. And if you've been watching me live daily, you know I'll play 100 Nights of Taps. So today's Taps video is going to be at our flag ceremony this evening. So this is going to be a longer video than normal because I'm going to record the entire thing. But if you tune in, you'll hear me play taps. Not doing the National Anthem today, though. So, gracias, Pato. De nada, Paul. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, flip the camera around. It is looking sick. Gracias, señor. All right, here we go. Instructionist. Oh, uh, so we're waiting for Nacho. Thanks. <coughs> Can we kill the lights? Or no. Or at we're least waiting one. for Ignacio. All right. So, mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna go over this um, in the 
At least you guys tell me until it's like, it's not doable because we cannot practice it. So and then I stopped. Okay? Yes. But, all right. You good? I hit the last breath. Now, no. he was here yesterday and I was going over uh, oh, yeah. this material with the uh, new agent that I'm training. All right, so, so I'm gonna start very simple. Same thing, so, so you can keep these numbers in your mind. I know we can not practice. So it shows a regular square, five by five. Very simple, okay? But the thickness is gonna be one inch. Mm, now we're doing depth. One point zero. Okay. <clears throat> so again, so so our job, so the first operation that I'm gonna teach today is facing operation. Okay. So we're gonna be facing. However, I need to teach you how to make a stock. What is the stock? Whenever you guys go over there, whenever uh, we're in the manual class, you go over there and you cut the Piece, right you cut it on size or you or you cut it oversized oversized so you can machine it down right e exactly so it's the same principle that we're gonna do today so in other words if if this is one inch thickness but th this is the final product so I have to make the stock at what at least an inch and a quarter inch and a quarter or inch and a very half. very good but for our purpose it's going to be a hundred thousand bigger hundred thousand okay. every single part that we're going to be doing for now on is just a hundred thousand bigger okay okay <clears throat> i know probably right now you're saying well it's going to be 5.1 and 5.1 over here also yes but that will be for next week okay right now remember what is our job today Face. Our job today is face face a hundred thousand face a hundred thousand. So what does that mean? So we have to make five inch by five inch the print, and this one whenever we make the stock is gonna be a oversized by a hundred thousand. Good. All right. So that's the principle that we need to remember today. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my stock. Every time I make my stock, so it's gonna be a hundred thousand bigger from whatever side that I'm working. Today I'm working facing, so my facing portion has to be a hundred thousand bigger. Good? Yes. All right. Watch me. Now it's not like let's do it. Watch me. I'm gonna go super hyper slow. All right, hopefully I understand this laptop. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to point, partition, phi by phi, apply. So it's gonna be on the top right. There is my point. Yep. To that point. Okay, the box now. To here. Zero, zero. Is that good? Yes. All right, so here we go with the notes. I'm gonna go super slow. Make sure that you take some notes, all right? So now I need to go and make a stock. So these are the steps to make the stock material. So first, you're gonna go all the way to the left, and you're gonna go to switch to solid meal, right here, switch to solid, to solid meal. Then you're gonna keep moving to the right, and you're gonna go to simulation, 
advanced simulation, this icon right here. Next to the point. And after you do that, <clears throat> you're gonna keep moving to the right. And right next to the red one is something called simulation parameters. Again, after you do your geometry, this is five by five, you go switch to solid mill, simulation, advanced simulation, simulation parameters. <clears throat> Whenever you go to simulation parameters, you're gonna have two tabs over here, so you're gonna go to solids. Whenever you go to solids, then over here, this is easy money. The length Five. is gonna be your X. So what is it? Five inches. 5.0. And then your Y is your width is what? Five zero. Correct. And what is the height? 1.1. 1. 1. Very good, Mr. Corey. Excellent. 1.1. Why 1.1? Don't forget the stock so you can machine it down. Correct. So now here's the new material that it doesn't make any sense, but uh, it will make sense next week. Makes sense. That's how thick it is. Over here on C, C for Zulu, is going to be the same number of the height, but with a negative number. Hmm. Negative 1.1. Okay, so you got a positive and a negative. Because you're building kind of like a sandwich. Positive 1.1, negative 1.1. So then you have your thickness. We see that? <clears throat> After you do those numbers, then you're gonna go add, and you're gonna see the stock one over here on your left hand side. All right, quick question. Go ahead. The length is only five, the width is 5.1. What was that, sir? How come length is only five? Oh, I'm sorry. It's five. Yeah, it's five, five, one, right, five. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Five, five, one point one, negative one point one. Now, this is assuming that our stock material is already at five by five. Correct. Okay. But then we're gonna have a job that we have to machine that extra material material which is a profile and then we're going to make it oversized okay but that's too much today okay okay slow baby steps right so then i'm going to click okay so now and this is the sub bar that we can now practice but after you do over here we want to see the stock material so what do we do we go over here we pause it see over here this is your kind of like your simulation for your machine. So you pause it. Processing at the bottom. It's processing. Okay. And then you go to view shaded wire. And now you have the stock. So if you go oh, with the control cool. key and the little wheel, you push it down you can see your stuff. What? That's cool. It's about time we get to the good stuff. You shaded wires? <laughs> Shade. View shaded, shaded wire. wire. It's right under the window. Where right. And I'm gonna do this again so we can double check the notes. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to God, man, file, and I'm gonna do it again. Save changes now. Okay. Again, same thing, about the geometry, over here, five by five, apply, point, rectangle, there, to coordinate, escape. Somebody want to read the notes so I can see if they're correct? What I have to do now? Switch to solid mill. So right here, what's next? Advanced simulation. Advanced simulation. And sim parameters. Parameters. Solids. It's already in solids. Length five. Five. Width five. 
Five. Height, 1.1. 1.1. .1. Start, Z, negative 1.1. Negative 1.1. What else? Okay. Okay. Yep. <coughs> okay. Add, add first, though. Add. Add, so it goes to the if marks. If you click OK, nothing is going to happen. Ooh. Yeah, click Add, and it puts it in the open box on the top left. So add, so now you have a stock number two because yes, we just did one. Right. So now and we click OK. okay. And you pause. We pause. And if you already see it, so you don't have to go to, if you don't see it, so then you have to go to view, and, require. and then control key, you push down the little wheel, and then you can see your stock. Hold control and push on the wheel. So you got to have a mouse with the wheel. Instead of the Zoom laptop, we just apply it. So Correct. Yes. Right now, it gets, if you're only using, if you don't use the mouth, the finger pad, touch pad, it won't work. It's going to be a, yeah, it's a different skill that you have to get. So, it's like a $10 mouse. So, if you can see over here on the top right, you have different views. You got top view, you have isometric view, front view, so on and so on. Usually, I like top view, and you have a shortcut also, F7 and F8, okay? I believe F7 is uh, top view, F8 is uh, isometric view. So now that, that we know that we have the stop, so we can stop the simulation. See over here, you have all the way to the left, the stop simulation, and that takes you to the U geometry. And that's the whole point of the first exam, to have your geometry. Why? Because you got to go back and work with the geometry that you have. All right. So we already know how to make the stock. So now we need to learn how facing. So this is going to be the steps for the first operation of facing. So for facing, the first thing that we need to do is bring the uh, project manager. To bring the project manager, you have two ways to do that. You can go top, left, view, and then if you go down, you have project manager. And also, it yeah. gives you the shortcut, which is F2. So if you memorize that, so you don't have to go there, so you just go F2. Or you can go to view and then project manager. What does that mean, project manager? Over here on the left hand side is going to be where you're going to have all your operations. Every time that you make one operation over here, so it's going to be on your project manager. So, you know. Good? All right. Facing. How do I do facing? First step, I need to bring my project manager. Got it. Second step, I need to select my geometry. Okay, so I need to select the whole geometry. I can do window selection and select it. Or I can go select the shift key, shift, and click anywhere on that square and it will select it also. Okay? So now that I have selected, I can go to Right next to unbounded geometry is something called, an icon called Create Features. So you select that one, and then if you keep looking to the right, you're going to have an icon called Auto Chain. Remember, Auto Chain won't work if you don't have anything highlighted. Okay. Again, look, I don't have anything highlighted. I'm going to go to create features and auto chain it. See? Like, uh, you want me to auto chain what? <laughs> okay? So, you need to, okay, you need to highlight this and then auto chain it. Okay. As soon as I'm going to do auto chain, it's going to record it in my project manager as chain number one. Boom. And look how it works. If I click on my chain, it's going to highlight it. See? I click outside, it's unselected, 
now is selected. And it gives you the y and x coordinate for right now. Okay? Is the blue arrow on the right side, is that the direction of travel the tool's going to take? Um, no, not exactly. It's just they telling you what is the origin. Oh, okay. Perfect. So now that you have chain number one, so now you have to select chain number one. We almost there, guys, promise. Now that we have chain number one selected, <clears throat> Now we can go to something that is called solid mill, traditional solid mill production. And whenever you click that one, it's going to give you all the operations that you can do with the MIMI. If we see the first option is what? Basing. Is that the one that we need? Yes. Absolutely. So we click on it. Okay. So this is how the spring software is going to look like every single time for any operation. This is it, guys. Nothing hard. So you're going to have three tabs over here on the left. We're going to go basic. I'm not going to go every single thing because we're just taking notes and it's kind of hard. So on general, the first tab, general, we need to put a face on the operation. So I'm going to go here, face. Face what? 100,000. This is going to be a note for your program whenever you load it for your operator. I don't know if Eric is showing you. I'm pretty sure he's showing you how to, to write a program manually. So if you put in parentheses, it it's not going to read it. So this is it. This is a parentheses. Whatever you write over there in operation name is going to be in parentheses. And you can put a paragraph if you like. Uh, yes, sir, you got a question. Yeah, so in general, I need to put the uh, basic and 100,000, right? Right, so in other words, you put the this name of the operation that you are going to do. Okay. Okay. Is it tool ID, so we need to go and select the tool. So we go to library. So you're going to have metric and inches. This is America, so inches. So and then we go to this funnel and we look for face meal. Face meal right here. Okay. What size? What size do we have outside? Uh, Three inch face meal. That's what we have in the machine right now. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Click OK. So look again. General, only two things. One is the name of the operation. And then the tool is a three inch face mail. Now we go to a strategy for right now, not to overwhelm you. A strategy, we just gonna go straight to depth. Total depth. And here is how much we need to face off. This is the thing that we all hate but we blame engineers from the software. <laughs> I know right now you are learning outside with Eric, but if you want to go deep into the part, you go negative number, correct? Yeah. A spread over here, especially on facing, is the opposite. So it's a positive number and there is nothing that I can do. Is that clear? Yeah. Whenever you run in the machine outside, it's a negative number. Over here on the software, it's gonna be a positive number. So how much do we need to face off? 1,000. What is it? 1,000. 1,000? No, 100,000. Oh, yeah. Point 0.100,000. How many passes? Incremental depth is like, hey, how many? How many, every time, how much do you want me to, I, I know that you want 100, but now how much you want to go every time? Do four passes, so a quarter. Four passes? Yeah. So a quarter, point two fifty. No, 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 zero two fifty. Okay, there you go. So point zero. Every 25. Zero, well, let's go 50,000. So okay. let's make the math easy for everyone. 
So if we do 50,000, what does that mean? How many passes is going to Two. do? Two passes. That's Two times, right. Two times 50 is 100. And then links for right now is going to stay the same. So summary. General, two things, operation name and two ID at the inch Facebook. Yes, sir. Phone call. Really? Instructor has a phone call. So All right, thank we're not you. listening to this. Bye-bye. How are you today? I'm Bye. fine, Zyler. So over there is negative. Over the software positive. is working. Yeah. So double check. Okay. So over there's negative, over here positive. It balances our day out. It's working. No kidding. Is it working? Who's saying no? Yes, yes, I see yes. the light. Yes, yes, yes. Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, yeah. I'm I want to see everybody's working. I'm up and running. Okay, I'm running to pick up your test. All right. So we're done with lecture? Done with lecture. Woohoo! Zyla retracted his message. All right. Lecture's over. Our software is back up, so we can use our own computers, and we're not doing lecture now, so got to go. Thanks for watching. Give us um, notes on the next step. Later. So Nacho, I don't know.